Hey guys, I'm Abby. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting on three different projects that are very similar. That's kind of why I'm starting on them at the same time. In my last vlog, I worked on the Odin cami. And so today I'm going to continue working on like summery clothes that I can wear. It is Me Made May. And I have, I printed out three shirt patterns that are all very similar. They all have collars, they all have button downs, um, but they are slightly different in their styling. So I'm gonna try to make all three. I have fabric for all three, but it, it is a step up in my skills that I'm going to test. I've never done buttons or interfacing on fabric, so that's gonna be the test. And all three of these have this in the collars and then the buttons. So that's why I'm kind of starting them all at the same time. Then also it is the sew along for the Hawthorne store quilt and it's the second week so I'm gonna start working on that. Uh, last week we cut out all, all the pieces so this week we're making the four patch kind of squares that go in the first block of the quilt. So I'm going to show you real quick the shirts I'm gonna do and the quilt. So this is the quilt all the pieces cut out um, if you looked on my Instagram, or if you follow me on my Instagram, I showed the kind of, I guess, drama that went on. I originally cut this piece wrong and didn't have enough, and so I had to go find a different fabric because the store didn't have any more and weren't going to reorder. So I, I got this fabric and cut it, and then I went to a completely new store, and they had this fabric, so I got enough, and now I have pieces, but um, I did a poll on my Instagram and decided to stick with the original. I can probably use this for a future Hawthorne star quilt. It's still very pretty and I like it, maybe with different fabrics in the future. So the next part is sewing, I think, these two pieces together and then making four blocks out of cutting them. So that's week two is making like 96 four patch out of this white and gold, I'm pretty sure. It's like your background and your accent color. Might do that a little bit in this video towards the end, but I'm going to go and show you the three shirts I have laid out to start today. So the first shirt is the Elisa by Fiber Mood. And you know, it is, you know, button up and has a collar. It has like kind of this longer sleeve, but from the picture, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a lighter fabric. And so I have this like silky or cotton satin fabric. It's, I got it from my sister, but I think she got it from Joann's if I, yeah, it is a Joann's fabric, but she got it a while, so I don't know if they still have it, but it's very light and almost kind of like silky pajama-ish. And I have, there's actually two pieces here. There's one cut, and I think this is like two yards, and then this one, I think that's one yard. So I'll have enough to make this shirt, but yeah, it'll only fit on, on like one of the pieces, so maybe I'll have like extra to make something else. But I have all the pieces already cut out. And then the next shirt, I got the Lucy shirt by The Patterns Room. You can see this is also a button-up collared shirt. It just, it has short sleeves and it's kind of loose the collar. And this picture doesn't look kind of the same as what I saw on like the makes already. The collar's a little like wider and goes out, but that is pretty close. And I have all the pieces cut out already too, but I'm going to use this bright, checkered red fabric that I got. It's just a cotton. I got it from a quilt store, so it's a just a regular quilting cotton. And I got three yards of it just to make sure. But yeah, I think that's gonna look really good in this shirt, in the Lucy shirt. We're gonna start that today also. And then the last one I picked out, again, very similar, but this is the Gilbert shirt by Helen's Closet. And this actually comes in two different styles, but I'm gonna kind of mix them because I want to make the short sleeves and the pocket but I don't want to do this tie piece, plus it's a little shorter on this version A. So version B is a little longer and just, you know, a straight edge, but I'm not going to do the long sleeves. So I'm going to kind of mix them to get the shirt I want. But the thing is, I printed this out and I realized that the pattern, I did the wrong scale. So I have to reprint that and that's why I don't have it cut out. But I have this super cool fabric I got at a quilting store. It has like a dragon on it. So I think I got three yards of this. I think it will be definitely enough. I think on the back, I'm going to cut it where the dragon is the main piece. So like if I'm using B, the dragon is going to be right here. And I, I think I can get where I can have like the face of the dragon um, on the pocket. So I'm going to do a little fussy cutting to kind of make this really a unique shirt. It, I don't typically wear this bright of colors besides 
Like this is fine, I would wear this, but this is a little unusual for me, but I just love the pattern. And I've been wanting to make like this kind of fussy cut patterned shirt for a while and I found this and I thought it was perfect. So we're gonna make a dragon shirt, <laughs> but that one probably not gonna start today just cause I have to reprint the pattern and then cut it out. Cause it was at the wrong scale when I re first printed it. I didn't notice until, until later. First, I'm going to pin these and cut them on the pattern pieces and then figure out the interfacing parts. You know, at least I know on these they like tell you like this one it needs the fabric and the interfacing so that's nice. I already own interfacing and I think I own enough buttons for both of them but I'll check and if I like them with the fabric. But yeah these are the two shirts working on today and then my quilt. So let's get started. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut out from the fabric for the two shirts, the blue and then the red check. Yeah, both of them were very simple to cut out. Um, and next, I think I'm going to do the interfacing, which I have some, but I only have a yard. So I'm probably gonna have to go to the store and buy more. I'm gonna see how much I can fit on that and then assess from there. But I think I'm also gonna start sewing the pieces that don't need interfacing and such before I go to the store. And then maybe I'll print out the Gilbert top and try to put together that pattern and cut it out so I can do all three shirts at once, which now I'm thinking I'm probably gonna need interfacing for that shirt too. So I'm probably gonna have to go to the store anyways, no matter how much I can fit on that one. But yeah, I still have a lot of extra fabric of both. That blue fabric had two cuts to it so I still I only used one of them that was the two yards and this is like a yard so maybe I can make something out of that and then the red check still has maybe three quarters of a yard add to my scrap pile that I have to figure out what to do with sometime but it is lunchtime so I might eat lunch real quick and then work on these a little bit more before I run to the store or I might run to the store after lunch depends on how I feel and I have to read over the patterns to see how soon I need those interfacing pieces but right now I have all the main fabric pieces cut out of both these shirts. This one was really easy to cut because I could line up the pattern on one of these lines and cut it real quick. But yeah, I have to read through. See, these pieces need interfacing, so need to read through and see how soon I need it and tell when I need to go to the store. Okay, so I did get interfacing on the small pieces of both shirts. See, um, but I do have to go buy some more because I have to put it on to this long piece and I didn't even have enough just to do this with what I had so um, I do have to go buy more interfacing for those pieces but I think I can start because this doesn't add on till later for both shirts but yeah it was super simple you just iron it on so now I can uh, start putting my shirts together Hi, so it's the next day. Yesterday I did not end up going to the store because it was like thunderstorming all afternoon. I just didn't feel like going out in it. So I sewed as much as I could on the two shirts that I have and then I reprinted the Gilbert top pattern and cut it out so today I can lay down the fabric and cut it out. And I'll show you guys how far I got on each shirt real quick. One's a little further than the other, I think. But they're both coming along pretty quickly and I like how they're both turning out. All right, so first is the like red checkered Lucy shirt that I'm doing, the Lucy shirt. So I've gotten the front and the back and the back yoke attached. And then the collar is put on the front and the back, but only the back is attached. So that one's pretty far. The next part is sewing on like the front pieces that I need interfacing for. So I can't do those yet. So that's as far as we got on this, but it's pretty far. I mean, we just have to do the front and then like the sleeves and sides. So this one is about like almost halfway done. And then on the least top, it, it's not that far along. Um, they do it a little differently, their order. So I have the collar on, but it's just the back piece on this shirt. They have you sew the collar together and then attach it. 
here they have you attach it and then sew it together but the front and back pieces are sewn together um and then yeah just this part color again next is the front kind of like lapel sides these long pieces but i need these have to be interfaced so i need to go get those so yeah this one's not as far as long but they're kind of in the same spot i don't know this one has been a little more difficult I don't know if it's just the fabric I chose I did had to unstitch this collar and reattach it that was mostly my own fault because I wasn't paying attention when I was sewing it and it got off but yeah this one's coming together really quick I think it's also that it's just cotton and super easy to sew with while this is a little more slick and tends to move around a little more but yeah this is the Gilbert top I reprinted it and put all my pieces together so now I can put it on to my fabric later that'll be fun because it's the fussy cut one with the dragon that i'm gonna do so next i think i will do the laying out and cutting of the gilbert top on my dragon fabric and then and then go to the store it's nice and sunny today so i don't have to deal with rain and i can get more interfacing for the longer pieces and finish up these shirts real quick hopefully i also have to make sure i have enough buttons for all these shirts since i'm going to the store make sure i have enough beforehand if i don't i can buy more or make sure i even like them with these shirts you know so yeah all these are coming together pretty quickly even though i haven't really started on the gilbert top i don't think it's going to be that much different but right now i'm saying the lucy shirt is pretty easy even though some of the directions are a little sparse you get the point and if you sewn at least a little bit before you can get it and put it together pretty quickly so next we're going to cut out the gilbert top Okay, so I got all the pieces cut out on my dragon top. It took a while because I had to like move around and fix the fabric a lot just to get the pieces that I want. But I think I got, thank goodness I got three yards of it because I used like every bit. So I have like now weirdly shaped scraps that I'll probably just throw away. I have all the pieces and I'll show you them real quick because there are some pieces like I, I think I did pretty well at cutting them so they look nice on the shirt when it's done so i'll show those real quick so it's kind of hard to see because the pattern but this is the back piece and it's folded so this dragon is going to be like right in the middle and i got the whole body of it and then on the front on both sides i have basically the whole dragon because that's one side that's the other side so they're gonna be kind of like two dragons on each side and i even got where is it I even cut out the pocket i haven't taken out the paper but you can see I cut out the dragon's face. So the pocket's gonna go over one of them like that. So you can see, but I cut out the dragon's face. So I'm gonna try to, when this is all like hemmed up and everything, I'm gonna try to place it as best I can over where one of the dragon's faces are on whatever side it is. And then for the sleeves, I got, it had where the dragon wasn't, it had these yellow flowers. So on the sleeves, I got this as the main part of it, kind of on both sides. In between like the body they had this cool circle so this is the yoke of the back so it's like the top part of the back it's actually upside down but i cut it so this was kind of like right in the center so it's going to be like this and then the dragon is going to be right below it so i think that'll look pretty cool but yeah i have all the pieces cut out it took a while to get all of it make sure it all fit to get the pieces that i wanted in the place that i wanted but i think it's going to look pretty cool when it's all done i think i'll have like five or six faces on this shirt by the time it's done. My dragon shirt's uh, coming along and start working on it. I did actually go to the store and buy more fusible stuff to put on the fabric. So now I can do all the pieces and finish the two shirts that I already started and this one. So yeah, I'm gonna have uh, three shirts done pretty soon, hopefully. And they're going pretty quick because they're all very similar, have similar styles. So it's like doing the same step on each one. And I picked up buttons while I was there. And I'll show those at the end. But yeah, I'm very excited for these shirts to see how they turn out. So I have been sewing a lot. All three shirts are kind of at similar stages near completion. 
Um, I'll show you each one has left. They're only a little different because of the order you have to do them for instructions for each. But all of them are pretty close to being done. I'll kind of give you my thoughts on them real quick as I show you kind of the stages left of each. So first I have my Elise shirt. And this one is kind of the one that didn't turn out as well. I think it's mostly because of the fabric. It's just very slick and the iron-on stuff is kind of very stiff. So it was hard to get it to go exactly how I want. And the corners didn't turn out as nicely. I don't know if it's going to focus. Yeah, the corners didn't turn out as nicely. It's still like wearable, but all I have left to do on this is the buttons at the front and then I have to hem the sleeve and the bottom of the shirt. So just hemming and buttons for this one and it will be done. I still do like it. I still probably will wear it even though it's a little, you know, messed up. Not as crisp as a collar as I would like on these, but still works. And then... And I, also, I just, I didn't really like the instructions of how you're supposed to attach these. It was like three different seams coming into this corner, but there was no real crossing of the corner to make it stick. So it didn't, I don't know, I didn't like it as much. But this shirt, I will probably be making again. This is the Lucy shirt by the Pattern Room. This came together really quick and it turned out very nicely. It was super to, easy to throw together. Again, this one, I just have to do the buttons and then hem the bottom. I already hemmed the sleeves, but yeah, so this one is very close to completion. I'll probably make this one again a couple times. I really like this from the quick try-ons I've done. I really like the fit of it and the corners turned out very nice and crisp and was easy to do. So yeah, this one is kind of my top so far, even though the instructions were kind of sparse I could, I was able to figure out most things and, you know, put it together. I think for the next shirt is the gold top. There was a butt, a pocket. I might, I think I might for the next one, like add that to this shirt. I have enough spare fabric. I could add to this one if I really wanted to, but this was probably the easiest one to throw together. But the last one, the Gilbert top, I still really like. I have this one came together very nicely. The instructions were so detailed. It was super nice. It just, it's a very more technical shirt than the Lucy shirt. So there was more to it, but the collar turned out really great and sharp and it was nice to put it together. There's a pocket and you see I did, and I think I did pretty well of, you know, cutting my fabric to having it lay nice. So yeah, the, this, this one I do like that she has you sew in this kind of like flap for the buttons. I still need to put on the sleeves and hem those and then I have to put on the buttons but the bottom is already hemmed. So they're all very similar in how much work is left but mostly it's just the buttons left for each of them and then hemming and then sewing on the sleeves for this one. But yeah you can kind of tell this is a very different from the other one's just from the fabric choice. It's much busier, but I loved how it turned out. I have two dragons on each side, including the pocket, which goes like perfectly with the pattern of this panel. And then on the back, I have the big dragon, full dragon scale. So not to brag on myself, but I think I did pretty well cutting all this fabric to have it nicely show off this pattern. So yeah, luckily I have extra fabric. I can practice doing buttonholes before I do it on my shirts because um, I've never actually done a buttonhole or put on buttons on anything. Well, I put on buttons, but I've never done a buttonhole. So I'm gonna practice those a couple times and then put it onto the shirts. But I'll show you the buttons I got real quick. So for this Gilbert top, um, I just went with like clear buttons because there's enough going on in this fabric. So I just have clear for that. And then for my Elise top, I found some, these are actually dark navy. They look kind of black, but they match fairly well with this fabric. And then for the last one, for my checkered Lucy shirt, I found these really cool, really pretty like flower design buttons. I think those are gonna go really great with this shirt. But yeah, I just have to practice a few buttonholes just to make sure I do them right. And then uh, put the buttons on and finish the hemming and such for each shirt. But I am excited to finally get these three shirts done. I don't recommend doing three shirts at one time unless you have a lot of room. I had pieces of paper and fabric kind of everywhere and trying not to mix them all up in this space was a little hard sometimes. But I, I'm really excited to wear all these shirts. Um, I'm liking how they turned out at least even though 
I'm not super excited with the the, the details of the Elise shirt. It, I think it was just the fabric. It was hard with the interfacing and such, but I can still wear it. So it's not too bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna finish these out and then I will have three brand new shirts. All right, so I practiced for a bit and I got it down. I now have buttonholes on all my shirts. It worked so well. I already cut them open, so now I just need to go to the other side and sew on the buttons, which I'm gonna do later because I'm so tired, but basically these shirts are done. I got three new shirts that are all very similar, but different, um, kind of in styles. All have collars, all have buttons, but all are a little different. I loved how they kind of all turned out, even though, you know, this one's a little messed up on the collar. It's fine. Can't wait to wear all of them. But <laughs> yeah, those are my three shirts. Nice addition to my closet. Everything's hemmed. Just have to add the buttons and I'll be done. So yeah, it, I've really enjoyed making these, even though three was kind of a lot at one time, especially since I had never done buttons before or interfacing or, you know, collars like this. But they were all pretty simple and I think they all turned out well. Can't wait to wear them this summer. I will definitely be making the Lucy shirt, the one I made in red and white checkers, again because it was super simple. And I do love the Gilbert top. It's, if I want something a little more detailed, I would go towards it. And the instructions are super clear on how to do it, while the other two kind of lack sometimes. And I do want to try the Elise again, just probably in a different fabric. This silky one was a little hard to work with. Um, I don't think it was necessarily the pattern. Uh, maybe I can get the color down a little bit better on a different fabric, but I will still wear all of them and make all of them again at some point. And it's definitely nice to know I can do buttonholes because that was the first time I've ever done a buttonhole. It was super simple and I loved how on the Gilbert top the dragon pattern turned out even though it took me three times as long to cut it out, it turned out really great. And I'm slowly but surely adding more pieces that I've made myself into my closet. I really like looking in there and seeing pieces I made myself. So I definitely love getting to see these in there in a little bit. But I am going to end the vlog here. I'm gonna do the buttons later. But let me know down below what shirt you would make if you made any of these tops and what you liked or didn't like about it. If you have any questions for me, uh, leave it down in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can, but I will see you guys in the next video and I have to start working on my quilt along quilt. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.